Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a template for your Wix website. Templates are a fantastic way to save time and maintain consistency across your site. Whether you're building websites for clients or simply want to streamline your own web design process, creating a template will make your life a whole lot easier. So let's dive in and get started. Before we start with this video, Make sure to watch it from now till the end, so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have in your PC. Once you open this browser, simply go to this URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. Of course, if you have an account, make sure to just simply go and log in into it. And if you don't have an account, make sure to go and create your account by hitting the sign up option or get started option. And you'll be prompt to uh, and follow the instructions once you prompt to create your account. Then, of course, you will have to plan your template structures when you're signing into your account. So before uh, we begin designing, of course, it's essential to plan our out the structure of our templates. So consider the different sections and pages you want to include, such as the header, footer, navigation menu, and content sections. Of course, sketch out a rough layout to visualize uh, how these templates will come together. So as an example here, I'm just going to create a new site as an example. And of course, let's just wait as an example, it's gonna be an online store. Let's just not care about this, next. And here, let's just give it, uh, I don't know, welcome name or something like that. Next. And here, of course, if you want to add anything, click on next. Or literally just skip all of those because I'm not interested. So, of course, as you can see, you can get a custom built site or you can get a customized or customize a designer made template. So from here, you'll be able to customize your template. So simply click begin with begin with the template. So let's just wait for this page until it loads. As you can see, they'll give you the store templates that you can start from. So as you can see, you can view it or edit those old templates. Or you can simply go and start by your blank template. So as we said, we would like to create a blank or a new template for you. As we said, so how to create a template for Wix. So of course, we would like to get a blank template. You can start from scratch or minimal layout. As you can see, there are for even black templates, they are giving you some options to use if you want to. So for us, let's just as an example, uh, choose this scratch uh, or start from scratch and click on edit. And as you can see, this will take us to edit our template and simply we'll have to design your template in your Wix editor. So of course, now it's time to bring your template to life in the Wix editor. So start by selecting a blank template, of course, as we did and customizing the design element. You can add your preferred color, scheme, font, and branding element to create a cohesive look. And of course, you can use the drag and drop functionality to arrange the sections and elements according to your planned structure. So as you can see, something went wrong. Uh, okay, maybe maybe nothing wrong. They are just uh, having a problem or something like that. But as you can see, now we'll be able to start. So we'll be able to add sections. As you can see, we'll have here one section. We'll be able to add even more. And as you can see, here it's going to be the footer. And here we're going to have the header. So we can use as an example this add element. And here, let's just add an image uh, for our logo for the header as an example. So let's just upload an image here as an example. And let's just choose upload a media. Or we can simply... Uh, upload media from your PC if you want. So simply, let me just choose uh, this as an example. And so let's just wait for it until it's uploaded. And as you can see, now I'll have to go and add to page. And here's it. Now I can make it smaller and even smaller bits. And let's just put it on the header right here. So as you can see, this is going to be the header and we can even put the name of my site here. So as an example, let's just put or get a text. Of course, a hidden or just a normal text or a big title as an example. We can put this in the header and here, let's just put the name of our sites or of, of our templates. As an example, it's going to be online or maybe anyway, let's just put a store here as an example. So simply click on edit text and type store as an example. Here you'll be able to change the theme if you want, the font also, and even the font size. 
if you want to make it bigger if you want to do any other uh, selections with that make sure to do so once you're done of course it's going to be this our header right now now you will be able to fill the body as an example here of course you'll be able to add some buttons if you want like uh, buy from here let's go from here sign up or uh, sign in and of course you'll be able to add a lot of buttons as an example let's just add here a button and this button of course you'll be able to design it if you want we can change change the text and icon so the text let's just put a uh, sign in as an example and of course choose what's display as an example text only icon only or text and icon for us we would like just uh, the eye uh, the text and here we'll be able to design it so we'll be able to do whatever we want we can even customize the design and do whatever we want as an example here we'll have to put a, a sign in and of course we can even add animations and here the link uh, to which page they are going to take us if we click on this link so as an example let's just do a sign in page and just paste the link uh, right here and they will be taken right away of course if you need any help you can click here and see if you can do anything you want so as i showed you here you'll be able to add buttons you'll be able to add image stripe decorative books galleries videos music interactive lists embedded code a lot of other options even uh, payments blog store as you can see you'll be able to add a lot of other things if you want so make sure to customize or design your templates on wix editor of course so start by uh, of course you can then create a reachable comp component so you to make your template uh, truly efficient of course you can leverage the wix resume content features so to identify the elements what will be consistent across multiple pages such as the header and footer uh, as we said here so as an example those are going to be repeated the header and footer always so here you'd like to add like contact us or something like that and of course the hero or the body of your page that will change in every page of course uh, here once we are done with our template we can simply save our template by clicking on this option of course here we will have to go and and of course here if you have like custom domain or a domain that you would like to add here you'll be able to add this or you can connect to your own custom domain if you have one and of course you can even preview the changes from here or even from here it's both works so from here if you click on preview you'll be able to preview every, everything click on everything and try if everything is working and you'll normally be good to go once you save your template you can even check it on the mobile if you want to and once you save your template you can use and customize your template whenever you want so if you reach this point on this video congratulations you've just learned how to create a template for your uh, wix website of course templates are a game changer when it comes to saving time and maintaining consistency in your web design projects remember to regularly update and improve your templates as you gain more experience and discover and of course if you gain more experience you can discover a new uh, design trends and put them in your template so thanks for watching and happy templates ending don't forget or a building sorry so don't forget to leave a like down below in this video and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one